Hey guys, Asher from Mobile Geeks here. We're in Hanover, two days to go until CBIT 2014 is kicking off this Monday. And uh, we're already on the show floor. There's a lot of construction going on here, so it might be a little bit louder. And some of you guys might know that I'm a huge fan of the Galaxy Note 3. And when they introduced this back in September last year, they also had this kind of new back, right? This is, uh, well, it's not real leather, but at least it looks a little bit like this. Now, Samsung is going to introduce, I think tomorrow or Monday, well, we sneak in here, the new Samsung Ative Book 9 style, which is completely kind of, well, not copying, but um, using the same design language as the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, at least on the back of its lid. This is a 15.6 inch. Can we still call it an Ultrabook? No, I don't think so. It's a notebook. Oh, it's portable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a notebook, 15.6 inch, 1080p resolution. Obviously, it's running Windows 8.1. Um, let's take a quick look around the device. So we have a Kensington key lock, USBs to, um, this is a display port, I guess. There's a little slot for a micro SD card here. It's nothing on the front. Let's check out the other side. Um, here we go. So it's a PSU, HDMI out. This should be another USB and um, a jack for your headset. It also comes with a camera. Unfortunately, we don't know um, anything about the sensor itself. Overall, this device only weighs 1.95 kilograms and um, is 17.5 millimeters thick, or should I say thin, right? for a 15.6 inch device. Um, this is really pretty good. When it comes to battery life, Samsung is claiming that it will run for 15 points, no, not 15.6, 15.6, God, that's the inch and the diagonal of the screen for about 12 hours. And I think that is huge. It's running on an Intel Core i processor. As you can tell, it has no touch screen. Let's go back to the desktop here and let's just quickly check this out. It's all in German here. Let's see. So it's running on the Core i5-4200U, the ULV version of um, the Intel Haswell. It has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabyte SSD. We can't tell you anything about the pricing right now, but you know what, in general, this is like a, like a gorgeous device. What I really love about it is this fantastic chiclet keyboard here. Look at these huge shift keys on both sides. Massive um, multi-touch trackpad here. And yeah, that's about it. It's a good looking notebook, business notebook. Um, I would guess it will be around maybe eight, nine hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, hopefully. So this is a very, very first look at the new Samsung Adif Book 9 style over here at Mobile World Congress. No, it's not Mobile World Congress, it's still CBIT. We just came from Mobile World Congress. And if you love it, that I always get these outtakes into our videos, just give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Sasha from Mobile Geeks, thanks for watching. Bye.